This episode, Heinz Ward is here in St. Petersburg, Florida to attempt his second ever triathlon. This is an important step in Heinz's journey. On the heels of finishing his first sprint triathlon, he'll be attempting to double the distance in a field 10 times the size of his first race. The pressure is on. Football fans and Heinz Ward fans are out in force to show support. Heinz is in St. Petersburg, Florida. The stakes are definitely higher this time around than they were a month earlier in San Diego. There's a sold out field of 3,500 participants here for the 30th anniversary of St. Anthony's. The distances are doubled and the amount of media assembled in St. Petersburg to watch Heinz finish his second ever triathlon is huge. It's quite the opposite for 2010 Ironman world champion, Marinda Carfrey from Australia. The woman they call Rinny is racing this Olympic distance event early in the season to work on her leg speed and turnover so she can hopefully win back her Ironman World Championship title in October. These refuel teammates not only share a love of chocolate milk for recovery, they also share a goal of getting to the finish line of the Ironman World Championship, which is still six months away. Rinny and Hines had a chance to get together to pre-ride the bike course and to share insights into the sport of triathlon and race day strategy. Rinny's, I mean, she's been there, done that. It was a great opportunity for me and to, to be a part of her team. Bringing someone like Hines into our sport is fantastic. It's going to open up so many more eyes. Her and I, we kind of got the similar background. She was a basketball player and just all of a sudden switched over. There's a connection between her and I in the sense that she understands what it takes. I can see where he's coming from. You know, the transition is pretty tough coming from like a sport that stop starts, sprinting, um, short distances. So I'll take off trying to keep pace with Rene and I had to slap myself and bring myself down to reality. You can't just expect to come off the football field and just go out and be the best at it. As race day approaches, Paula walks through transition with Hines to give him the lay of the land and they review the swim course. I really want him to push himself. I know him. He will be utterly frustrated if he holds himself back and feels like there was more to give. I gotta keep myself hydrated so I don't make sure I don't cramp up. A change of weather, change of climate is something that I really have to make sure I'm on top of that. He's so new to this. We just, I just don't know where the boundaries really are and I don't think he knows where the boundaries really are. Hines spends a little time to collect his thoughts on the race and they get focused on what lies ahead. It's early on race morning, and the excitement is building for Heinz as he gears up for the race. This is an Olympic distance race with a one mile swim, a 40K bike ride, and a 10K run. That's 32 miles, but the distance he will be racing in Kailua Kona in October, 140.6 miles. Race morning, conditions have, I'm not gonna say deteriorated, but the wind has picked up. It makes the swim more of a unknown. A little nervous, uh, the wind's kind of picked up here, but uh, I'm excited. He's, he's been training in all sorts of conditions, windy, rainy, even a little bit of snow. He'll be absolutely fine out there. The winds are so strong this morning that the swim is reduced to 800 meters for the age group athletes, which is still further in the open water than Heinz has ever gone before. I swallowed a little salt water because there was some huge swells out there, but all in all, I never got out of rhythm. The bike course is flat and fast. For Hines, the bike has quickly become his strength. Yeah, the bike ride was pretty good. You know, I was trying to save some gas at the end so I could make the transition to the run. So I, I let back a little bit, so I probably could have finished a little faster. Hines transitions from the bike to the run like a seasoned triathlete. I was able to get a steady pace and just uh, stay in the time frame that I wanted to stay in. I was running, pacing with a guy named Glenn who set pace and he's been doing it for 15 years and everybody around was very encouraging. In the women's pro race, Rini crosses in sixth place. She immediately gets in the recovery mode while waiting for Hines, her refuel got chocolate milk teammate, to finish. 
In general, I felt I felt pretty good. I'm actually racing again in seven days, so recovery is going to be pretty key. I pounded a couple of chocolate milks right after the race. Hines put together a solid 51:26 10K and finishes with a total time of two hours, 26 minutes, and 37 seconds. A little tired, but all in all, felt good. Felt good to get through. Everything he did for an event that's twice as long, he actually went faster. I wanted him desperately to break 2.30, and he went 2.27, and I think we're going to get set to make the next step up for him. All in all, I was happy about all three phases today. I took a step forward, and it's all about recovery. You know, enjoy the day, get all the chocolate milk that I can. Now the trick is, for me as a coach, recovery. The refueling, the proteins, getting the carbs in, that part is going to be absolutely crucial so that he can get back on schedule by next Wednesday. So, chocolate milk it is. You shouldn't be surprised, the guy's a competitor and he's a winner. I think he's going to have no trouble come October. You know, Kona's right around the corner. I don't want to just finish, I want to finish in the best possible time. I don't want to leave and look back and say, man, I could have did this or I could have did this. I, you know, I don't want to leave no gas in the tank when I cross that finish line. In future episodes, Hines goes back to his roots at the University of Georgia with top American professional triathlete Tim O'Donnell. He also reunites with his Become One teammates for their first ever Ironman 70.3 race in Kansas. Then things really start to heat up for Hines when he travels to the Big Island to get an up close and personal look at the challenging Ironman World Championship course. All that and more on Become One. This is the ultimate goal right here. Gotta finish. Gotta finish.